Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Holy crap, Adrian, is that a gun? No, it's better. Some years ago, I uh, realized that everywhere I went, I needed a guitar. And taking guitars everywhere I went, by airplane or just traveling in general, going on ships across countries and stuff, is a real pain in the butt. So I came across a solution. And I highly recommend this for any kind of musician that it does a lot of traveling but doesn't have constant access to a guitar it's for your creativity, for your happiness, for, for just joy. And it's right here. Just kidding. Right here. It's pretty simple. Comes in two parts. Like this. Off. It fits right over here. Yeah? Yeah. This is my Traveler. It's part of a Pro Series, but I like this color and this shape. Uh, I got it from the U.S. Virgin Islands when I was in St. Thomas. At a store called Brown Sugar. You know what brown sugar means? It's really good. And it's been in multiple provinces of Canada. It's uh, been on several aircraft. It's been on buses cross country. It's, uh, uh, oh geez, it's been in police custody. <laughs> no. It's been on cruise ships. It's been on multiple Caribbean islands. Um, yeah, it's uh, had some amazing history and it's put up with a lot. And it's beautiful. And it's got a serial number in the back here, 221264. So the first two numbers means that it was made in uh, 2022, which is a year from now. So this guitar's from the future. Some people think that you're supposed to be carrying it around. Like, uh, it's like this. But it's not. It's actually supposed to be like this. It has a little bit of a structural flaw right here. Um, I've uh, accidentally broke it because of weight and the way it's designed. Uh, but then I fixed it. But then I broke it. But then I fixed it. But then I broke it again. And then I got someone else to fix it. Charlie DeShane, thank you very much for fixing my guitar. So far it's holding up very, very well. Paddling the Athabasca River. And J-Stroke. The observant person will notice, hey, this thing's stringed upside down. That is correct. You got the machine heads here. The uh, strings are inserted there. Looped around the back of this thing because it's got the string sticking out here tend to stick out at times and it ruins your clothes. So I like to keep them short. That is important to me. So you can also immediately tell that it's got nice high abilities to get up here. And I really like the strip down look. I, I keep it with a simple strap, easy to carry. I do have the curly cord, that's for the base. Uh, but I do have a smaller, simpler cord that I can plug into. It's also great for traveling, fits in the case. Traveler. <laughs> It's got the pickup here, single, but it's got a lot of control. Right now I have it going through uh, an amp sim, my little Roland micro cube. And eventually it's settled on something that you like.
assassination attempts, uh, revolutions, um, a bar mitzvah, Uprisings, uh, birthday celebrations, yeah. campfires, um, sinking of a ship once. funeral of course after yeah gotta keep tuning i just love bending so much though bending and of course the old-fashioned way of tuning yeah it's the g-string usual suspect just like every guitar it's the g-string unbalanced because no headstock but you do get used to it. Uh, a neat little feature is this thing also came with a stethoscope without a bell it's like you know the ear part with the, the tube cut and it fits right here so you can actually hear through the sound hole and you can't plug in but who needs a stethoscope and when you're done and you want to pack the guitar away you just go there you go Nice and packed. Time for the next gig. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you're serious about as music as I am and have done so much traveling, then a travel guitar I think is really worth the investment. This is only number two. I'm gonna be doing a few more. I've got lots of topics and I play guitar every single day. So um, hopefully you've uh, had a, a good experience enjoying watching this because I'm gonna be doing a few more and you'll see me later.